In this session, we are going to discuss about echo. Sound can reflect, right? When sound is striking on an object, it will reflect back. It is known as reflection of sound. In this session, we are going to discuss about echo and persistence of sound. Objectives of this session are to understand about echo, to understand about persistence of sound. Let's start the session. First we can discuss about echo. Sound can reflect from one place, right? When we are talking here, the sound is reflecting. But it is not echo, right? We cannot hear the echo. When the sound is striking on an obstacle and it is coming back to your ear and we, we are hearing that sound again, it is known as echo. In some situation, we can hear the same sound again after some time. This sound which we hear is called echo. So what is an echo? After some time, we are listening to that same sound. We are making a sound and after some time, we are listening to that same sound again. It is known as, that sound is known as echo. Here there is an obstacle and this boy is making a sound. He is saying hi. The sound is touching there and it is reflecting back. Now it is an echo. The sound is going there and it is striking on the obstacle and it is reflecting back. Then we can hear the echo. Reflection is taking place always. But we cannot hear the echo always. What is the reason behind it? We are going to discuss about that. For that we need to learn persistence of hearing. Now we are going to listen to a sound. This sound is going to store in your brain for the time duration of 0.1 second. The sound which we are listening, that sound is going to be there in your brain for the time duration of 0.1 second. This ability of our brain is known as persistence of hearing. The sensation of sound persists in our brain for about 0.1 second. It is known as persistence of hearing. Just imagine if we are, if we are talking here and we are listening to the same sound but we are not able to distinguish the echo and the uh, and our sound because everything is happening within this point one second if the sound is coming after point one second sound is going to going there and it is striking on that object obstacle and it is coming back if the sound is coming back after point one second then we can listen to that echo because after point one second the sound is not there in your brain the sound is coming back after reflection. Then we can listen to echo. So we can say that to hear the echo, the sound should reach back after 0.1 second. 